welcome. My name is Miss Kim and I'm excited to spend some time with you today. Let's start our time together by worshiping God with our voices. Since all good things in this world are a gift from God, let's sing all that is good. having an amazing day. Now, I don't know about you, but I have been so hot lately. It is August, and even with the air conditioning and all the fans on, I'm still sweating. In fact, this past month or so, the U.S. has seen record-breaking temperatures from Florida all the way to California. Death Valley, California reached a scorching 128 degrees in July. That's one of the hottest temperatures ever recorded on Earth. So when temperatures soar, one of the most important things we can do is stay hydrated. And the best way to hydrate is to drink what? Water. There is nothing quite like a nice cool glass of water. Now we may be going through a heat wave, but the part of the world where Jesus lived was very, very hot too. One day as Jesus was tra traveling through Samaria, he passed through a small village. There was a well there, and Jesus, he was hot and tired from the long walk. So he sat down beside the well about noontime to rest. Think about it. Noon is like the hottest time of the day, right? Well, soon a Samaritan woman came to the well to fill her water jug. This woman was not liked by those in the town because of the many mistakes she had made in the past. As she got to the well, she saw someone was there. It was Jesus, and he said to her, Please give me a drink. The woman was shocked. You see, in those days, a Jew would never be caught talking to a Samaritan. She said, 
Why are you, a Jew, asking me, a Samaritan, for a drink? Jesus answered, If you knew who it was who was asking you for a drink, you would ask him for a drink, and he would give you living water. Everyone who drinks from this well will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water that I give will never thirst. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming to the well to draw water. She didn't understand that living water was to believe that Jesus was the Savior. Jesus said, Go and get your husband. Bring him here. I don't have a husband, she replied. And Jesus said, You're right. You have had five husbands, and the man you're living with now is not your husband. The woman was shocked again. How did you know all about me? You must be a prophet because you know everything I've done, she said. Then Jesus explained to her that he was the Messiah. The woman was so excited that she ran into the city and told all of her friends, come and see the man that has told me everything I've done. Surely he must be the Christ. Because of what this woman told them, many Samaritans came to know and accept Jesus as his offer of living water. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves and we know that this man really is the savior of the world. Jesus loved the woman at the well, even though she had made some bad decisions in the past. He loved and forgave her and he loves and will forgive us too. And just like a cool, refreshing glass of water. Now the water refreshes our body, but it can't compare to the living water that Jesus gives because that refreshes our soul. Will you guys pray with me? Awesome. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your son, Jesus, and for giving our sins. Help us to tell others about the living water so they too can spend eternity in heaven with you. Please keep us happy, healthy, and safe. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I am wishing each and every one of you an amazing week this week, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye, guys.